Now, great individuals have oftentimes used their pen to tell their stories, addressing several issues that may have emanated during the sojourn. Uh, Rear Admiral Alison Madwiki retired recently released his autobiography in company of friends. Wilson Omoni brings us more. Dignitaries across various fields and highly ranked members of the military across Nigeria gathered in Lagos for the autobiography launch of the former naval chief. Each took turns to pay tribute to his life and works. As a young man, he said, I want to enjoy my career, as you have mentioned, in the Navy and see the world and ultimately head my country's Navy. Many people around him, especially the journalists in the foreign country where he made this statement, must have laughed it off. To have come from the background, military tribunal, what have you, and to have risen to the very top of the Navy is not a main achievement. It is extremely important that those who are serving and those who have served before to begin to look at the services with the wound which we owe so much. Perhaps one of the most trying times of the author's life was a sack from office in 1994. My fellow culprit is here. Uh, my fellow victim is here. What was it? It's in this book. <laughs> With a comprehensive journal comprising over 500 pages, those present agree documentation is necessary to preserve history. I think you are contributing to the um, environment of education, information. It is important so that we know, like we said, what Nigeria used to be so that we can be able to come back to that system. Until our people start documenting their lives and also even those who do biographies, not necessarily autobiographies, will be losing a lot of information. As they all parted ways, the call for younger generations to be resolute in the face of adversity is the wish of many elderly ones who say the future is now. Wilson Omoni, STV News, Lagos.